Hello, my name is Mara Linsky-Deegan and I'm the Associate Curator and Registrar here at the Charles H. McNider Art Museum in Mason City, Iowa. And today we're going to do something a little bit different from some of our other art talks. We are going to take a little mini tour of our galleries and we're going to talk about some pieces of artwork that we have here that are a little bit spooky. Now, while we're walking around and looking at these pieces, you can decide for yourself if you think the pieces that I chose are spooky or not. And I may ask you a little bit of questions about that. But to start off today, we're going to talk about a piece that I think is a little bit spooky and in a gallery that some people find a little bit spooky overall. So the first piece we're going to talk about is right here, and she is the Wicked Witch of the West. Uh, she is a marionette that was created by Bill Baird for um, the uh, play, uh, The Wizard of Oz. Now, a lot of people know about the Wicked Witch of the West and find her a little bit spooky. I especially think this version is a little bit spooky, um, partly because she has kind of a spooky expression on her face. She kind of looks like she's up to no good. And I also like that her finger is getting ready to point at you like, oh, I'm going to get you. Um, I think that's kind of spooky too. But puppets in general, especially the marionettes we have here, are a little bit spooky for some people. And I think that's because they almost look like at any moment they could start moving all by themselves without anybody touching them. Like maybe a hand would move, or maybe their eyes would go back and forth, or maybe their mouth would open and they'd start to talk to you. Now, I'm thinking that if she right now picked up her hand and pointed at me, or suddenly turned her eye to look at me, or something like that, I would find that very, very spooky. But some people find even ones that aren't so spooky, like these ones right here. These are just a couple of folks, uh, a cowboy and a nice lady here wearing some great cowboy boots. I don't think they're too spooky, but a lot of people do. And I think it's because they look so lifelike, you know? They look like they could really move by themselves. So as we're looking at some different pieces around our galleries, some of them already have videos about the artists themselves and uh, some art talks that we've done before. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about the artist who created the pieces that we talk about, like Bill Baird, we have a video about Bill Baird. You can go to our website, which is mcniderart.org, and uh, you can go to McNider Art at Home, and there is a whole section about art talks that has Bill Baird and a lot of different other people in our collection, including uh, some of the people we're gonna talk about today and some of the pieces that people myself and maybe other people at the museum and visitors have told us they find a little bit spooky. The next piece we're gonna talk about in our spooky tour is um, this piece right here. This is by Nathan Oliveira and it's called The Man with the Green Eye. Now, when you're looking at this one, you might think, well, that's just a portrait of a guy standing sideways. That might be not so spooky, but I think a lot of people find this piece so spooky because you cannot really see the man's face. He's kind of anonymous, which means that you don't know what he looks like. Some of the other portraits we have in our galleries, they look like uh, a, a person. You could almost tell who it was if the person was standing right next to it. You could say, oh yeah, that's a portrait of you. But when you look at this piece, the face is so kind of almost blurred out with the thick, thick paint that was used to paint it that it doesn't really look like a total human face, I think, sometimes for people. And I think that's why people get a little bit spooked out by this piece. We have a lot of people when we're doing tours, we ask people what their favorite piece is and what piece they uh, find either weird or kind of different. And this is a lot of times ones that people pick as a little bit different. And I think it's partly because that face is not really a face, especially if you get up close. So I'm gonna give you a chance to get up close, and when you do, I want you to think about if you think that face is spooky. So here's another piece that some people, when they come into our museum, find a little spooky. 
Now, when you look at him, you can maybe see why. Uh, I think that a lot of people find Syl here, our security guard, spooky because he looks so much like a regular person, like a person that would be walking around, that it almost looks like he would look at you and start talking. In fact, we've actually had visitors here at the museum uh, speak to him and say, oh, excuse me, or oh, pardon me, uh, when they walk by because they don't realize he's not real. And I think that's why he is so spooky. Now, I think that he's not so spooky. I think he looks really friendly, like he's saying, hi, how are you today? And then he's making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to in the museum. So like with the other pieces we talked about, I want you to take a look at our security guard, Sil Sanjan, and I want you to think if you think that this piece of artwork is spooky or not. And if you do think it's spooky, why? And if you don't think it's spooky, why don't you think it's spooky? Well, I'll give you a second to take a look. want to learn more about um, this piece right here and the artist who created this piece. Uh, his name is Mark Saijan. We do have a video uh, at, at the ones I told you about before. You can go in and uh, watch the whole video about Mark Saijan. So the next piece we're going to talk about, one of the pieces that people do find spooky in our collection, is this piece right here called The Watcher. It's by a, a gentleman named Marvin Cohn. And if you can look at it here, you might figure out why people think this one is so spooky. Um, part of it, I think, is this portrait that's hanging on the wall right there. Um, I think a lot of people think that he looks kind of sinister, like he's, he's up to no good, and then he's looking at these doors. And I think these two doors are also why people find this work a little bit spooky, because you know, the front part here is all lit up and kind of, you know, you can see what's going on, but you cannot see what's going on behind those doors. And I think that's what makes it a little bit spooky, at least from what people have told me. So again, look at this piece. Do you find it spooky? And if you do find it a little bit spooky, what about it makes it spooky for you? All right, here's a piece that you might look at it and go, why would they include this in a video about spooky art at the McKnighter Art Museum and I'll show you in just a second because when you look at this piece this is a piece by George Peter Alexander Haley and it's called the children of Colonel and Mrs. Turnley so it's a nice portrait of three children when you look at it at least for me it doesn't seem very spooky it seems like a nice portrait but there's one thing about this that makes it a little bit spooky and some people have said it's kind of spooky when they're here in the museum. And it's especially true for the two figures on either side, these little girls wearing those dresses. Look at them and see if you can think, what's spooky about them? What I think is spooky about them is their eyes. Their eyes are looking at you. Their eyes are looking at you right now. But if you move to the other side of the painting, you can see that their eyes are following you. They're still looking at you, even though you're on the other side. Now, the guy in the middle here, the young boy in the middle, is not looking at you right now. So he's a little bit less spooky. But those two girls are still looking at you. And I bet if you come back to where you were before, they're still looking at you. So do you find that kind of spooky? Sometimes I 